Hello, hello, and welcome to Great Builds for Greatsword, where I showcase all of the builds that I use most frequently in my hunts. The topic of today's showcase is a build created in order to comfortably slay both Safijiva and Fatalis, providing both damage and support while making sure to guarantee the specific part breaks needed for each hunt. Stand up to the greatest threats that the new world has to offer with Dragonbane. Combining high attack power with survivability and support, this set will let you solo Fatalis and maximize your Safi Jiva Siege rewards. Here is a complete breakdown. Starting with the weapon, we will be wielding Safi's Dream Splitter for this build. While Fatalis' Greatsword is the absolute king when it comes to attack power, Safi's Greatsword continues to be the most useful when we aim to create utility alternatives. We are going with the sleep version because we can generally get one proc that allows us for a large damage wake up to break parts. In regards to the awakenings, we are interested in obtaining purple sharpness, followed by as much attack as possible. As such, we will awaken with one instance of attack 6, two instances of attack 5, and two instances of sharpness 5. As for the augmentations, we will go with the usual attack up and health regen. For a great sword, these two continue to be the best combination to augment. Now, let's talk about the armor. The following set combination is one that I will be using in most, if not all, of my builds due to its incredible skill efficiency and decoration space. We are running four pieces of Fatalysis armor and one piece of Frostfang Barioth. The specific pieces are Frostfang Helm B, Fatalis Chest B, Fatalis Gloves B, Fatalis Waist A, and Fatalis Legs B. With this combination, we get access to three different armor set bonuses. The first two are straight from the Fatalis armor and the strongest in the game, Inheritance and Transcendence. With them, we are able to fit all of the decorations that we need and get the necessary support skills in order to bring down the red and black dragons. Finally, we are getting Punishing Draw for the possibility of stunning the monster, giving us more damage opportunities. To finish off our equipment, we need the Agitator Charm, the Rock Steady Mantle, and the Temporal Mantle. Both mantles in this build are fitted each with two Medicine Jewels to increase our health region. That being said, the mantles will be switched to and from depending on what we need and which phase of the hunt we are in. All of this equipment is fitted with the following decorations. On the Greatsword, Expert Plus. On the Helmet, Challenger Plus, Critical Jewel, and Attack Jewel. On the Chest, 3 Charger Protection. On the Gloves, 3 Jumping Attacks. On the Waist, Evasion Plus, and 2 Critical Jewels. On the Legs, 3 Destroyer Protection. Taking into consideration the sheer amount of skills and abilities that this set gives us, it is not very decoration intensive. The rarest jewels that we will be using are one Expert Plus, one Challenger Plus, and one Evasion Plus. I believe that most will be able to create this set in its completion and have a fully efficient build to face such powerful foes. In any case, we are left with the following skills. Critical Eye 7, Agitator 7, Evade Window 5, Divine Blessing 5, Attack Boost 4, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Focus 3, Part Breaker 3, Evade Extender 3, and then Recovery Up as our inactive skill in the Mantles. The main objective with this build is to solo Fatalis. Obviously, with the good attack power that Safi brings us as well as 100% affinity thanks to the standard Critical Eye, Agitator, 
and weakness exploit, we will be able to put enough damage on the screen to slay the beast. Not only this, but a very important part of this hunt is Part Breaker. Being able to break Fatalis's head twice is extremely important and highly increases the chance of success. Of course, we are also counting on focus to increase our damage through the faster charging of our attacks. As for defense, we are able to take advantage of Evade Window, Evade Extender, and Divine Blessing. Starting with Evade Extender and Evade Window, this set will give us the best roll that we can get, and it will be useful both thanks to its length and its invulnerability frames to get away from the multiple AoE attacks that both Fatalis and Safi love to use. Finally, Full Divine Blessing will add a very good chance to stop Fatalis's flame attacks from one-shotting you especially in the final phase. The most obvious positive note to bring from this set is that it highly increases the chances of survival against the Black Dragon and greatly speeds up the advancement of the Red Dragon Siege. Doing so with extra comfort and safety, anyone using this build will find greater success. But we have to keep in mind two things. The first one is the sharpness of this build. It sits at 20 units of purple sharpness, but thanks to the set bonus from Fatalis's armor, we are able to get 60 units of purple sharpness, triple the amount. I believe that this is enough for any great sword build, but for all of those that are uncomfortable, be sure to carry plenty of Wetfish Plus scales. Secondly, keep in mind that this is a utility build. It is meant to hunt these two dragons. It is its purpose and its power will weaken when not facing these two specific monsters. Remember, this build is not created to be all purpose. Nevertheless, whether you choose to bring down Fatalis on your own or join a group to help in Safi's siege, you will be best prepared with this set. I hope that it brings you many successful hunts. Thank you very much for your time, and please remember to use more greatsword.